Good evening everybody, this is the main model from the very latest Meccano Engineering and Robotics 5 model motorcycle set, this is the chopper bike and if I recall correctly from quite a long time ago now it's sort of in the style, at least the front end is, of the Harley Davidson Springer Softail it's been a long time ago since I was, uh, well, thinking of having a Harley myself. Um, I could be completely wrong on the model of that, but anyway, basically what I'm saying is it's got a, a sprung front fork using coil springs here. Instead of the more usual modern way, well modern, it's been around almost as long really, with a hydraulic front fork with a spring inside it all, uh, or forks, the one each side. So we'll come on to the uh, features in a bit, uh, but it's an hour's build. I did rush it and I made a glaring error at the back end, which is completely my fault. Uh, I was trying to make time to do two models in one sitting and it, and it didn't happen. Less haste, more speed of course really. Uh, nothing of much, but we'll go through the little bits and pieces that I found a little bit could be better or questions were raised from the instructions. These thick uh, plastic strips at the bottom, been around for years, nice blue. One side it shows you is the sort of castellated side like this one underneath the bolt head and the other side it was the opposite and I saw no need for that, I saw no reason why that should be the case and in the interests of symmetry I did them both sides so as you can see the castellated sort of rough edge is behind the bolt head and it's the same the other side, just for aesthetic reasons, I suppose. The wheels are very nice, nice with a stand. Uh, the tyres are very good, solid, but slightly soft, only slightly. Right then, stage two, and that is putting uh, this bolt across here to there. You need a 25.4 mil or one inch bolt. Out of all the bolts in the set, that was the nearest one. And why do I say the nearest one? Because it was too long when placed on the one-to-one -one image of the bolt. Or the one-to-one -one image may of course be too short. Now I haven't measured them, but all the other one-to-one -one images in the instructions were fine for the bolts that it required at any one particular stage. Where that was the case. But it was only just long enough anyway, so we have to be thankful for that. I suppose it does mean a neat finish though. Not really an issue with the instructions exactly, but the parts inset list on stage 5. Um, one about the only part really that's slightly odd compared to the colour of the real thing and the instructions itself. In the parts list on stage 5, the pulleys, these half inch pulleys, are shown almost black. And they're not very big. And I struggled to see what it was. And the light where I was building was fairly decent for once. And... Uh, that slowed me down a little bit, but nothing really, you can get around it quite easily, just take your time. Stage 8's a little fiddly to do, and it all revolves of what you probably call the headstock on a, on the real thing, or the newest thing to a headstock on here. The assembly is formed by a bolt, I uh, forget what the length was now, but you've got a, a double bracket there, fixed to the frame by a bolt this side, and a bolt that side. Effectively a one bolt fixing, and that has moved on me. Uh, it's not very good really, it needs a bit of extra support but I think there's a way around that, possible anyway with the set parts to improve the model. Uh, we'll go into that later on but basically you've got a knuckle here, well, I don't know the exact name for this, but you've got the knuckle part with the, um, the hole where you can put a bolt or an axle through and there's a threaded end at 90 degrees to that there and getting that in the right place and everything tightened up straight and in the, in the right uh, orientation of the double bracket was a little awkward, uh, not impossible by any means, but it was a little awkward. Basically what I did, I positioned the knuckle slightly loose, just ever so slightly, and then when I tightened it up for the final bit, it moved it into the right place. Of course, that is the uh, compression spring there, uh, on the 32mm bolt and a nylock nut there. Now, I must confess to another error, I put the forks on the wrong, wrong way round. I put it with this plastic mount here inside here and you know I think that's better it looks a bit weird but it means you've got steering 
As it is at the moment, the forks come handlebars, stop it turning anything more than just a fraction. But with that the other way around, this is further away from the headstock here, and you've got decent steering, and you've got suspension. Of course, you have got suspension anyway. So this suspension, while we're talking about it, it's a bit awkward, because you have to put quite a bit of weight down on it, because the spring is quite compressed, and a shorter spring means a stiffer spring, and I don't want to put too much weight in a vertical direction down like that because you put all the stress on this small um, headstock if you like and then um, I says one bolt fixings could come undone also really it's only a one bolt fixing up here as well and the steering can twist left and right so it's I've got it quite tight so here we go then let's try again so you can see you ain't got much in the way of travel I could back that off ever so slightly but not a lot now to be honest there ain't much need for the nylock nut because it can't turn anyway as I said before handlebars look quite nice um, wheels are nice the stand as um, as built is just one of these narrow obtuse angle brackets which is the top one it's not long enough to do any good it's a waste of time so I've just put one on um, from the set to extend it slightly it's not perfect but it means it'll stay up for the video right then stages 19 and 20 state to use a 9.5mm bolt there's none left at this stage but there are two 12mm bolts one of those stages is fitting the stand I've just mentioned and as you can see it's a bit ugly sticking through there like that and we're using one of those plastic nuts where you cut your own threads by putting the bolt in and cutting it yourself um, I don't really know why I've used that there. Uh, I think there's a nylock nut left, and there's plenty of room to get the nylock in, so I don't see why they've used that there. It's fine, it works okay, you know, it does the job as long as the stand's long enough. The rear wheel, well, idiot me, I put these um, what you might call swing arm parts, although it's fixed, it doesn't swing. These sort of obtuse uh, strips, narrow strips. I put them on the outside and when I tightened it up I pulled it right in and there's too much play in the wheel and the nuts here really really grab the tyre. As you can see from when I've done it properly and incidentally I didn't um, include the repair in the build so you get a more accurate length of time for the build. It does still rub the nuts slightly but not enough to stop the enjoyment and it is reasonable. Reasonably loose without being too loose I dare say those nuts are helping that. Front end, uh, probably my. See, it's twisting now. Yeah. Front end, my least favourite bit of the build, the tyre and the wheel, is offset. You've got a bolt, a washer, the brake disc there. There's another washer underneath there, and then a small spacer there. Which means, at the end of it all, that that is offset, and it looks well. It looks terrible, to be honest. It's. It, I do like symmetry I suppose but that you know I know it's a toy but the thing is there are quite a few bits left in the set that should all being well be able to get round that or more or less um, I still like it the exhaust is very neat now then folks that funny spacer thing underneath um, it's in there uh, where's my screwdriver it's just in there. Can you see it looks slightly ribbed now? Well you might be able to see that the angle of the frame is angled in at the back. Comes in to a point if you continued it along it would touch. It would take a, about another five inches probably but there you are. Now I'm wondering whether this is a almost like a self moulding spacer that won't get crushed like a grommet or grommets. And Therefore, the spacer follows the angle, in this case, of the frame either side. So it's more secure, more uh, structurally sound, if you like, than putting uh, spacers in and forcing some of the plastic strips at odd angles, sort of a stepped angle, or indeed using grommets and not being that secure, I suppose. Um, we're waiting answers on this one, for sure. Um, whether that will spring back into its normal shape afterwards, I don't know. 
Um, these won't be took apart for some time. I do intend to get all the sets and make all the models to display all at the same time. Uh, or enough sets to do that. So, we're waiting results from an email on that. Thanks to a regular viewer. And uh, apart from the few little things that could be a little bit better, um, because there are parts left in the set that should be able to help out. Um, the headstock itself, not a massive amount you can do with that. I have got an idea though that may work, and it certainly would work with the forks around the other way, with this uh, mount, as I said previously, inboard towards the frame, thus pushing the forks further away. It would look a bit weird, mind. Um, but there is a way around that. Uh, the stand, well just doing what I've done, I've done with the set parts fairly easy. There aren't many nuts left but there's quite a few rubber grommets and there's quite a few standard bolts. Uh, one I have forgot to mention, uh, well in part anyway, the other um, issue with should have been a 9.5mm bolt and there's only a 12mm left was holding the tank and seat together here. Uh, the 12mm bolt will do but it's too long so all this is lanky and loose. So there's a spare washer that goes underneath this half inch by one inch obtuse angle bracket and that takes up the slack. Now in regards to other improvements then, and I'll show you if I can, the uh, the remaining parts and the setters, probably here there's quite a few. Try and do this without them all falling apart. Let's move the bike for a second. There you are, there's loads of parts left over here, we'll take the tools out, we've got uh, three of these thick um, strips, plastic strips, another one of those mouldings, uh, knuckles, some stuff on the floor, there's the light, which is the same as the Ducati light, the Ducati set light, I can't grab the damn thing, where are we? There you go, <laughs> that's the light, um, some smalls, angle brackets, but this is what I was thinking, if I recall correctly, what I was going to do, where's the knuckle here, yeah. right, this may still work, it actually may work a little bit better, and actually give a bit more detail to the bike, now, with the forks around the other way, just twisted round, uh, you can, well in theory, it would be feasible to fit this knuckle onto what I presume is the foot pegs for the rider's feet, and you put it in there. This is uh, something you should be able to do even by using a nut and bolt to extend the stand from the set because you don't need a nut at least at this end. Now just think about it now, that goes on there yeah. and then you would screw, yes it's all coming back to me now, you would screw a nut and you probably need a spacer in the form of a washer, I don't know if there's any left uh, there's a plastic nut though, that'll do. Screw that onto there. So this pivots on the foot peg mount. That is attached there. And then, because this bolt here is this side, you can take that nylon nut off and fix this essentially there. Now what would be nice, I don't know if it can be done actually, it may still be able to be done this way with a bit of messing around. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you're going to do it um, with the parts available. We have got, actually, thinking about it, we've got these 7 um, hole narrow strips. Now if you could add that in as well, a little bit, to your build, therefore See, this is very rough you'll have a bracket out the front and maybe you can fit the light as well and because this knuckle here would be pivoting on this axle for the foot pegs you can still use your suspension just about because there's not much travel in it so I'll probably do that what I want to do first is sort out the front wheel Let's get this apart. sort out the front wheel and uh, get that sorted first because that's the most obvious thing if it's just on display not being played with much that 
I suppose that gets to be more. But I've got another idea for an update as well, an improvement. Twofold. Now the seat looks quite good. And that's secured into a knuckle here. And here. But nothing up here. I reckon just about. Just about possibly. And there is some uh, adjustment available here because this part of the construction here is through the slotted hole in the half inch by one inch obtuse angle bracket. So we could mess around a bit there and hopefully, can you see what I'm thinking? We take one of these, which is from the set, and we secure it, I can't really show you really, but you get the idea? You secure it at the top of the tank there, and you also secure it onto the headstock there, onto the frame. And thus, doing two things, one, holding the tank firm at this end, although it's fairly firm as it is, but the other and main thing is, it will stop the double bracket moving in the frame, moving up and down. The twisting side to side there, you can't really do much about, apart from tighten it a bit more. But uh, nothing really majorly wrong with the set at all. Uh, didn't go quite as well to plan as I wanted to. Most of that was my fault. But uh, it's a nice looking uh, bike and. With this one, and I suppose the Ducati does suffer, if at all, because that's a really good build and a really good set model and chunky, nice size and everything. goes together quite well. At least with this one, the tank has got a bit more form to it. It's a bit more filled in, so it looks more like a tank, where the Ducati's left a bit open, I suppose. A bit too much gaps around it, if you like. But uh, best bits about it as a set, uh, it's got to be the tyres for me, I think. Then the wheels. That is the first model, then, from the... Meccano Engineering and Robotics 5 model motorcycle set uh, chopper bike um, and I suppose anyway whether you add parts or not if you have to add parts to make it work it's a failure to me but I don't think we will I mean it's just about okay as it is now just wants a little tweak bye for now folks